Uh, how's it going guys? Uh, this is probably going to be the, well, will definitely be the last video. Just basically, instead of walking around the house and like showing you everything, I'll just show you photos a bit tidy because you know what it's like, especially with the kids in the house. So I've got some photos before everything, you know, started getting a bit chaotic, chaos. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just send some photos and I'll do a talk over, just sort of showing some before and after photos. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy the video and have a like and subscribe. Cheers. Right, so we'll start upstairs. This picture is basically where the stub wall was built to divide the big bedroom up into a smaller bedroom, uh, a slight hallway and the bathroom. That banister, what you see there, is where I took the old wall out and basically pushed the wall down to make the smaller bedroom. Right, so what I'll just quickly run through, I'll run through the floor plan when we bought the house and sort of show you how I split the one big bedroom into two rooms. Right, here it is. This, this was the floor plan when we actually bought the house. Um, so this is what we've done downstairs. Obviously, we got rid of that bathroom because we didn't want the bathroom downstairs. Um, and what we basically done, I built a stud partition here and then pulled it along there and made that into a, a smaller bedroom and then made this the bathroom basically. Got rid of this cupboard here, opened it up here and then built a bulkhead which was in my other videos. And so we got double doors in here as storage for this bedroom one. Um, obviously this was the wall that came down and that then is the door and a little bit of um, banister here. So that's just basically what we've done. So just so you have a bit of an understanding. So we'll just go into the bathroom, I'll show you what we've done in there. We went with the black tiles half height all the way around. That mirror you see on the wall there, I had that made to measure, uh, just so it went from the wall to the tiles. Window you see is frosted. That used to be uh, just a normal window. We had that made, that's what took so long to come. And then the, the gray sink you see on the left, that did used to be an ordinary sink when we first done it. But then when we moved in a few months ago, we realized that we had no storage. So we ended up changing that. We wanted a black to match. I was going to tile it, but this is the closest we could get. So although the gray doesn't quite match, um, we needed the drawers for space or all the bathroom stuff, etc. So that's why we had to go with that one. I actually done all the tiling myself, which I was pretty pleased about. Although there's a few things I could pick up. You know, when you look closely, um, for my first time tied in, I think uh, it went okay. I mean, I'd probably pay somebody else to do it next time, but yeah. That's just a silly picture of me. Short video of just how it, it was previous before taking anything down. And this is now the small bedroom, which is now my son's bedroom. And as you can tell, he likes ninjas and Marvel. So we'll go over to my daughter's bedroom now, which is a, another small single. This is a little video of it previous. Literally everything is done, plastered, new window boards. The only thing we didn't do was new windows in the house, so. And now we're going to the bigger bedroom, although it's not even that big. Um, and this is probably the barest bedroom because we focused on getting the kids finished first. So we've still got some bits to do in our bedroom. And those double doors you see, that, that was where the other side of the cupboard was in, where the bathroom is now. So I pulled it across on this side and opened it up with a bulkhead to make a double doors. We'll go downstairs now and I'll show you what I've done on the stairs and we're going into the lounge. So as you see, the stairs are in a bit of a state. What I ended up doing is just putting like a false string over the stairs. I actually made a little TikTok on this, which got over a million views, which I was pretty surprised about. But I'll show that, I'll show you that now. So yeah, that got a bit of a bit of attention. And here it is finished. So I I didn't really know what to do. I sort of regret 
not put in a door into the kitchen really, but that's something I'm going to do in the future. Still got the handrail to put up the stairs. I've put the backing board, but I've got to get some brackets and some handrail to go up there. I've gone into the living room now. I'll show you some pictures of it previous. See, she was a heavy, heavy smoker. And the walls were absolutely caked in nicotine, which took a good two days of scrubbing before we could get any plaster on the walls. And here is the finished living room. Quite happy with this. We ended up going with the oak engineered floor all throughout downstairs. Again, not really sure I wanted it in the kitchen, but you know, it's one of those things that you do and then sort of realize after, but we could change that in the future. All right, and now we'll go to my favorite room of the house, which is the kitchen. Probably most proud of this room, just honestly, kitchens do always look the best just happy with how it turned out as well that where I put the structural beam up what I did I made a little like feature out of it and behind the clock so that's where the soil pipe now runs there's some electrics and stuff inside there which we used as sort of like a, a void and then we just matched it on the other side to make a feature out of it which actually came out looking okay I think that's more or less it guys I mean we've still got the garden to do driveway to put on Lots of stuff to finish, but overall, pretty pleased with the house. It took about three months from start to finish from when we got the keys to when we moved in. But yeah, pretty pleased with it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and please like and subscribe, and look forward to the next video.